The Komnenos family administered the former Byzantine Crimean territory known as Peritea, meaning place beyond the sea. After the 1204 crusade that saw the partition of the Byzantine Empire, Gothia was under Trebizontine control. When the Komnenos family ruled the Empire of Trebizond, Trebizond became the suzerain of Cherson and Crimean Gothia. This control manifested itself in the first half of the 13th century in the form of annual tribute. The Principality of Theodoro is first mentioned in the 14th century by historian Theodore Spadaunus, who records the existence of a Prince of Gothia during the reign of Andronicus III. This means we don't know exactly when the Principality was established other than the 14th century. The Principality's capital was Doros, also called Theodoro. The city is now known as Mangup. Interestingly enough, according to Nikolai Benescu, the name Theodoro is derived from the Greek Tudoros. The Principality was multicultural as it was a mixture of Greeks, Crimean Goths, Alans, Circassians, Bulgars, Cumans, Kipchaks, and others. Despite the varied inhabitants, they were Hellenized and Orthodox Christians. Out of necessity, the Principality had friendly relations to the Golden Horde to the north, and even paid an annual tribute. The Principality of Theodoro has a few other names. They are also called the Principality of Theodoro Mangop and Gothia, named after the Goths that settled there centuries earlier. Theodoro has a coat of arms. Here it is. Theodoro has no flag that I am aware of. Now, in the strategy game Europa Universalis IV, Theodoro has this as a flag. It contains the aforementioned coat of arms. The Gavras dynasty that ruled Theodoro was first mentioned in the 10th century. They were already nobles and members of the Byzantine aristocracy. In fact, they ruled in Trebizond until ceded to the Komnenos family in the middle of the 12th century. The Spanish Wikipedia page has a list of the known princes of Theodoro. Genoa controlled Gazaria a series of Genuan exclaves along the Crimean coast ever since 1266. The Prince Alexius I rebuilt the fortress of Mangup, regaining control of the mountain parts of Gothia and gathering troops to challenge Genoese Gazaria. Theodoro always had tensions with Genoese Gazaria over what was called Parathalassia, meaning seashore. It was a strip of coast from Balaclava to Alushta. The Principality of Theodoro controlled the port of Avlita, now in modern-day Sevastopol. It became one of the largest trade centers on the Silk Road, disrupting Italian trade on the Black Sea. After the Turks took Constantinople in 1453 and Trebizond in 1461, the Principality of Theodoro was the last state of the Byzantine world. Isaac became the Prince of Theodoro in 1471, but was overthrown by his brother Alexander, as Isaac was seen as too friendly to the Turks, which probably didn't please the population. Three days after landing in Crimea, Alexander overthrew and killed his brother. Due to this, Isaac was able to avoid Alexander's fate, though getting killed by your own brother isn't much of an upgrade in comparison. In 1474, Kaffa, a city in Genoese Gazaria, was anxious over the impeding Turks and wanted peace with Theodoro. In fact, the princes of Gothia formally complained to Genoese authorities over the stealing of Gothic cattle and horses and the burning of buildings along the border regions including Alushta and Balaclava. They warned that such scandals could involve Kaffa in a war with Gothia. Kaffa's previous fears were justified as Kaffa was captured by the Turks on June 6, 1475. They soon took Sodoya Castle and captured three sons of the King of Tartar. 
Soldaia was stubbornly defended by the Genoese, but after a long siege and famine, several hundred retreated into a church where they resisted and inflicted several casualties on the Turks. The Turks then blocked the windows and doors of the church where the Genoese defenders all perished and laid unburied. After the fall of Caffa, Soldaia, and Maritime Gothia, it was the turn of Theodoro and mountainous Gothia to fall. Theodoro resisted the Turkish siege for three months. Alexander and his family were taken to Constantinople by the Turks, and he was beheaded. His son was forcefully converted to Islam while his wife and daughters became part of the Sultan's harem, and thus began 300 years of Turkish rule in Crimea. The fall of the Principality of Theodoro ended 2,228 years of Roman civilization, starting from the foundation of Rome in 753 BC, ending at the fall of Theodoro in 1475. I wonder what the Romans of antiquity would think not just about the Eastern Roman Empire falling, but the fact that the last remnant of Rome was a small principality in Crimea that had tensions with an Italian maritime republic.